Happy Saturday, you guys. As you see, Bulletproof Coffee. Oh, I know I didn't post a video on Thursday. I was busy changing up my look. And I to it, it totally just blew past me that I was supposed to do a video. When I thought about it, it was like 9 p.m. that night. And it was like, what's the purpose then? But here's the new look. Look at here. I really went crazy. I called it a midlife crisis and changed it up. Here we go, people. Yes, 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 yes. Changed it up. I love it. I love it. Um, for years, I said, I'm going to get a really nice, sassy haircut. Um, I didn't do it at, because at one point I was so heavy. And maybe looking back at it, that had nothing to do with it. But at that point, I had so such low self-esteem I didn't do it because I thought oh my god I will look hideous with a haircut being that big I'm still not the size I want to be when I wanted to do this haircut but I'm like screw it people that don't like it don't have to look at me and if it's still an issue for them I can help them by poking their eyes out so I love it and that's all that matters I think it's really cute and to be honest I think it actually slammed my face down a little bit. I was worried that it's going to make me look like a... But I'm so far so good. I'm loving it. So, um, what am I doing today? The heck, I don't know. Okay, let's develop some plans here. We know we got the Bulletproof Coffee going on, and I'm going to do that. I need to go clean myself up um, and figure out what my first meal is going to be. But before I do that, I will share with you guys, if you follow me at all on Instagram, you have already seen this. So I hope you guys are following me on Instagram. Um, when last weekend, when I went to Canada and went to Whole Foods there, if you haven't been to Canada, you got to go. It's a beautiful place. I found this. Um, it caught my eye because I love nut butters and peanut butters and all that stuff. This one has MCT oil and flax in it. So I'm kind of excited to try this one out. Um, again, if you watch my Instagram, I posted about MCT oil, my experience with it. Um, for some reason, when I use it um i get kind of jittery or i get nauseous so come to find out by trial and error okay hold on a second here you remember i bought these little packets of the um bulletproof little coffee with mct oil and ghee in it the little these little packages so i tried half a package and I was okay. And it's still really good. So my thought was is I'm going to have to graduate with this MCT or I'm going to use very, very little because I actually wanted to buy a bottle of it and haven't because I thought, oh my God, it might go to waste, but I don't think it will go to waste. I will just have to use it sparingly, very little of it so my body can adjust to it because I wanted to stop buying mayonnaise and make my own mayonnaise with MCT oil. So that was one of my finds, yay, while I was there in Canada over a week ago. And yesterday, while I was out shopping at Super Supplements, I had to pick up some more vitamins. I saw this. So it's just um, a sports, kind of like a sports drink to hydrate you and get all your... Um, minerals and stuff in you and it has ketones in it um i'm not a big sports person as you can probably tell but i'm getting back into my walking and what i have been doing is telling myself at least four days a week i gotta get in my six thousand steps or more so i'm gonna be doing this drinking some of this help me get my water in me i need to add more water to my diet um, so that would definitely help, but I'm going to drink this down. 
um, go get cleaned up and be back with you guys. Be back. Okay, this is going to be my first meal of the day. What this is, is leftovers. I'm going to finally take the rest of them down. It's my um, sausage, cheese, and um, broccoli mix. This is going to be my first meal. I'm going to eat that. And since it's a pretty day in Seattle, and I know soon that's not going to be the case, I'm going to take advantage of that and I'm going to do a little walk after this and I'll show you guys where I'm going. Okay everyone, it's quite warm today and I'm going to do a um, healthy shake for my lunch. So, right here is about a quarter cup of, or a little bit more of almond milk. To that, you can see all this, I've added a little bit of pepper, some salt, and some turmeric. So, to that I'm going to add some avocado, because it's time for this bad boy to go. Some bone broth protein chocolate flavor. Um, a half a teaspoon of cocoa and um, a half a serving of this collagen peptide protein. So I'm going to get all that into my little blender and get it going then show you the final product. I will be right back. So here we are. A nice delicious chocolatey shake and it's very thick. Let's see if you can see this. Really thick. I'm gonna drink this. I'm gonna get some housework done and we'll be back and we're gonna start on dinner. So I will see you guys later. Okay, I am starting my dinner prep. Salmon and some halibut right here some steamed broccoli and right here cooking is some cauliflower for some cauliflower mash so we'll be right back so here is the fish all ready to go and my cauliflower with broccoli the cauliflower is under here mashed up and I put the broccoli on top and added cheese. This is going to be dinner and I do have some leftover beef patties that I'm going to eat up. So the next clip you will see is a mini haul I did at Costco yesterday. So I'm going to insert that now. This is just going to be a very small um, grocery haul from Costco. So. Some boneless, skinless chicken, green beans, some eggs, bone broth, and cauliflower florets, um, olives with jalapeno in it. And in this box, we have, let me get it out here. Albacore tuna, some chicken, um, got some NyQuil. Um, which isn't keto at all, but I found these little cheddar bacon crisps, coconut clusters, and coconut cluster is not really mine, but these little guys are seaweed crunch with almonds, yum yum, and 
some mixed nuts. So there you have it, my little haul from Costco. So I hope you enjoyed that itty bitty little Costco haul. So my next clip is actually going to be me doing an unboxing from one of my um, keto deliveries. And for the record, I have canceled every single one of my keto deliveries. I was getting way too many of them. So I'm going to do the unboxing and the final picture will be my dinner plated for you. So I want to thank everyone for following me on my journey. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I will be back for another full day of eating. And you have a wonderful day. Okay, this is going to be a keto crate unboxing. Let's see here. What do we have? All right. Um, have a little information card. We have some keto carne, and mm, spicy beef jerky. Okay, so, um, yum. Pork rind rolls. I love these. I used to order them all the time. Nice. Okay, let's see what's this one. Okay, we have um, a little cookie. Hmm, it has six grams of protein, gluten free, no added sugar, three grams of net carbs. All right. Oh, I love me some olives. I used to buy these too all the time. Yum. Soroyo, one of my favorite sauces. Okay. Okay, so raw wixy crunchies, smoked paprika. And a nice little meat stick. It's beef. Yum. Let's see here. Focus. Yay. Now I'm really excited for this one because um, there's some, um, there's the Choco Night. Now if y'all are familiar with those low carb candies that's out now, the chocolate ones, the Choc Zero, they have this. This is yum, like a cocoa mix. I'm excited to try this. Yay. So that was everything in my um, keto crate. This is a pretty good box. And this will be my last unboxing, even though I haven't done a whole lot of unboxing for you guys. I had ordered all of the keto delivery services that I could find, I was in overload and it was just ridiculous. I think I was spending in excess of at least $150 a month on boxes. So that's ridiculous. So I hope you enjoyed this unboxing. If you saw anything that you like, um, let me know. I can give you more details on it if you want to um, pick it up for yourself. And that was it for my um keto crate unboxing